I'll share. Whew. Peace, y'all. Peace, peace, peace. Okay, we back. We back. Who was I doing? Absolutely. Okay, you back. Aya Water comes up. And you already know. She like, I'm seducing what it is that you need and want in your life. And because I'm seducing what it is that you need and want in your life, you need to be very clear. So you've asked for something. They've already manifested it for you. Okay? They've already manifested it for you. In the space that you're in, this is about knowing your value, knowing your worth, what it is that you bring to the table. And because you know your value, you know your worth, this is a time frame where you want to make sure that you are creating the dynamics that respect and encourage. Okay? That respect and encourage that dynamic. That's supportive to that dynamic. Anything that is violating that energy has to get an alignment. That's the best way I'm going to say it. The universe has already not only blessed you, okay? They already blessed you with what it is that you asked for. So now that it's here, they are preparing and making sure that all these different dynamics are getting in play. They are aligning the energy around it to make sure that it's going to work out in your behalf. To so make sure that it's working out the way it needs to work out. They're making the ground fertile. All right. They're, they're doing exactly. You need to stay in prayer. You need to stay in meditation. You need to be in a space where you're consistently. He is. He is. I don't see nothing in here that's not saying anything. Because then the love card come out as your overall energy. The outcome. And this is about, as long as you showing that you love yourself, mm -mm, you have to be consistent in how you are loving yourself. Be very consistent on how you loving yourself. Be very consistent on how you are operating in your energy. That's the part that's frustrating you. And you might have to put his ass out. I know that sounds real harsh. <clears throat> but you have to get him to rise up to where you're at. Okay? Make sure you're putting, like I said, you know your worth. You know your value. So he has to rise to that occasion. He cannot, if he's not able to meet the dynamics in that, you might have to put him out. Y'all might have to separate for a little bit. You might have to go on your own little journey. He might have to go find his way. Adjustments are required. Now, this might be adjustments on your side. See, and you just said that you don't like anyone in your space now at 46. How you going? Let's go back to these cards. I'm about to fuss at you now. How you going to ask for this dynamic? You asked for it. You asked for it. Now the brother here, and then you talk about, I don't like nobody in my space. I don't even like him no more. You need to adjust. You need to go back and figure out what I need to fix. What do I need to operate in? Mastery of Love, that book, is a really amazing book for people who are in relationships. Um, Return to Love is an amazing book for people who are striving to get through difficulties and challenges in relationships. Okay? Return to Love. Um, mastery of Love. Yeah. And that's every black woman, really. We get in this space where we'll be like, I don't want to show my weakness. I don't know how to be vulnerable. I don't know how to operate in my divine feminine. That's your shit. That's not his baggage. Like I said, you got to be in a space where, let's step back, okay? You ain't trauma bonding. That's another thing. You got to realize that you've been on a journey, so you know your queendom. You know who you are. Why would you feel like the universe is sending you anything less than what you need or deserve at this moment in time? Okay? Why would you feel? Because he might be there to offer some sort of healing. There is healing. And what's triggering you is your shit. The stuff that's being triggered is the stuff that you need to be dealing with. It's on the table. That's why this card coming up. 
adjustments are required. You need to adjust. I'm just saying. The zebra, Jasper. <laughs> this is talking about y'all needing to go. Y'all need to go to the mountains. Y'all need to go to some grass, go to the park. Do something together that's dealing with nature. All right? Do something that is connected to nature. St. Francis is the actual saint on the back. It says, my clarity is unparalleled. You hear me? Didn't I say you need to be real clear? Okay. My clarity is unparalleled. I am nurtured by the gifts of nature. Animals and other creatures bring me messages to guide me through this life. My connection to Mother Earth provides me with vital energy. I am focused and I'm grounded. So grounding, y'all getting into situations where y'all are grounding yourself. But also you connecting to the Divine Feminine, allowing Mother Earth to work through you. Now I'm not saying that if he there like being a bum and he's sleeping on your couch. Well, he better be sleeping in the bed, but for whatever reason, you don't put him on the couch. <laughs> but if he's there... And he's not um, operating in his kingdom, his kingly role. You need to, y'all need to have a conversation about that. What are our roles and responsibilities? Because at the end of the day, you asked for his ass to be the. You asked for the universe to send them to you and to make the way. Now you talk about, nah, take them back. I don't want that. <laughs> Is he too needy or you not, or you're not giving? Because now you in that space where you talking about, I don't like him. Take it back. <laughs> I don't like him. Take it back. It might require some patience, beloved. <laughs> Pay attention to the signs. I'm telling you, you need to go back to like grounding, be very connected to your spiritual journey, your spiritual self. You don't have to uh, force anything. Just understand that if it's not in alignment, it will eventually remove itself. Okay. Yeah, a lot of time, if you're not connected to your divine feminine, we, you, we can tend to not be nurturing. And then we'll be feeling like everybody else needs too much from us. They're like, why you need so much? Eh, you asking too much. Grounding. Even if you're not doing it with him, this is a time frame where you need to do it with yourself. This is a time frame where you really need to get back centered and grounded and focused on what it is your, what's your purpose? What's your dynamic? What you supposed to be doing? I bet you if you you busy doing what you're supposed to be doing, if he not working, I don't know that what his situation is. I guarantee you, like, when he realized that you ain't home to cook. You know what I'm saying? I have an, a really interesting way of showing people how to step up when they need to step up. And either you don't you step up or you step away. One or the other. No, people don't drain you. You allow them to drain you. You're allowing that. Don't allow it. You have the right to put the parameters and the boundaries. That's why that work card came up. You know how to put the boundaries in place. Put them in place. And don't feel guilty about it. This is what I require. You can either step up to this. You don't, if this is too much for you, then you probably need to reconsider, reevaluate what your, your dynamic is. <laughs> Definitely need to find your poke. And that's another dynamic. You're saying you don't know, you've been wondering about your purpose and you don't know your purpose. Um, I'm going to say this and I'm not picking on you in particular, beloved, but a lot of times, Y'all out here, you know, I love the word that you said, trauma bonding, but, uh, cause I use that a lot and I post about that a lot, but 
A lot of times we're running into these situations because we want to be loved or we love the ideal of love. But we ain't even got our own shit together. Like, you got so much stuff that you could have been focused on besides getting in a relationship. And a lot of times we create distractions. When we have that time that we're supposed to really be focused on ourselves and focus on doing what we're supposed to do for ourselves, we create these distractions. It could be jobs. It could be relationships. It could be new ventures. We'll create all of these different dynamics to distract us from what it is that we need to do. So you got to be in a space that you're paying attention. Is this a distraction? And the unfortunate thing is, is that we tend to bring in other people on the journey. So now you, you sitting here in a space where you're trying to find yourself. And now you don't brought other people along for the ride. And now you're telling me, and that could be your healing. That could be your blessing. And even though he came in at a certain time, I am not even saying that he's the one ultimately but he might be here to trigger growth and trigger love and understanding and compassion he might be here as a transitional mate that is getting ready to um prepare you for the next one it's not to say that he's not the one but he has a purpose he has a divine purpose he is part of your soul tribe he's part of your soul tribe and because he's part of your soul tribe, he is here to deliver a message. You need to pay attention to what the message is and what type of healing he is offering you at this moment in time. Be open to the healing. Be open to the opportunity. Be open to the moment. Be very present in what this particular moment means for you, okay? Ashe. Um, K. K or natural E. I don't know if natural E made it back. And then I have K. I can't remember what her what you call it is yes I think helping out is very key it's giving you a moment and even though you don't realize that he, he's there for your healing he's going to um, administer a, a certain type of healing that you didn't realize that you needed alright I don't see anybody so i have a little time i'm going to put my cash app at the bottom if you would like a reading um my cash app is pinned at the bottom because the other two people are not chiming in and we still have two people left on the list but if you would like a reading that means i have space available so if you would like a reading Put your name in the question mark box. In the question mark box. Don't put it in the comments because I will miss it. Put it in the question mark box. If I don't have anybody in the next few seconds, then we done. Woohoo! <laughs> Thank you, Pooh. I appreciate you. Oh, Whew. I'm trying to give y'all an opportunity. Y'all do definitely take advantage of this full moon energy. Tomorrow, I think Venus is doing something really interesting, if I'm not mistaken. I don't have all my stuff in front of me. But there are a lot of energies that are um, being connected uh, on Wednesday. And that is creating a really um, intense magical energy. Um, it would be a great time for you to connect, be still, meditate, um, definitely get in nature, do some things, and utilize this energy for the best of your ability and what it is that you need. Um, definitely pay attention. The full moon is on the 15th, so I think that's Friday or Thursday. It's Thursday. Full moon is on Thursday. Okay, full moon is on Thursday. All right. 
All right, nobody name in the bottom. I don't want no mess because I know y'all like to like inbox me after the thing is over. Talk about I ain't get my reading. Oh, I gave you an opportunity. It is. It's gonna be an Aquarius. It's a green moon. Everybody's talking about this red moon. I ain't get that memo. It's a lot of people that's like naming it the red moon. It's the sturgeon moon. I know that. Um, the green moon is what I'm connecting it to. It's definitely a moon um, that's connected to the heart chakra. We've been having a lot of energy dealing with the heart chakra over the last few. All right. We've been having a lot of energy that's dealing with this heart chakra energy. Um, that is making us really get in a space of reevaluating what our desires is, what our values are, what we really want in life and what we don't want, what we will entertain, what we won't entertain. Okay. So pay attention to the energy that's popping off. All right. So I'm gone. Cause I am needing this rest. I love you. I love you. I love you. Um, I might, might not. Do readings tomorrow. We'll see. I probably have to do some because we did have a couple of people. I don't know. I'm going to see how I feel. And then we'll go from there. All right. I will see y'all in the morning with the rising word. Ashe.